Welcome to the Michigan Runner Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. This is the event 2016 Team USA Awards presented by Dow, best of the games. And you said if I start again, what, what do you think is next? Oh, my next thing would be basically to train for road races. And we are going to treat it the same way. Normally I start in November. November 1st is where I normally start because I'll be getting ready. Normally I get ready for the indoor season. And so that's what I'm going to be doing the same thing, even though I'll be getting ready for the road races. We might do like uh, New Year's Eve uh, road racing somewhere, maybe in Europe. I've been invited over the years, but then I've been saying, you know, I don't want to go. But now that I'm officially a road racer, I'm going to try to do things like that. So from next year on to the 2017, I'll be in the roads, and that's going to be fun. Are you going to do any more track races? Uh, I don't know now. Um, I, 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 I said I ran my last race in Berlin uh, on the 3rd of September. But again, everybody tells me, hey, why can't you come back for 2017 World Championship in Berlin, I mean, in London. But I want to say that, you know, I've enjoyed my running career and what I've able to do. And being able to do something else, which is road racing, is another challenge, which adds up the excitement of uh, staying, you know, for a long time. I still want to stay. And I think switching it to road race is something that I think will help me a lot. I think a lot of people in Rio thought, wow, he's an older athlete, yes. what he's doing. Yes. How do you explain your secret to longevity and to your success? The, the, the secret to longevity is being able to train and train really well. And of course, taking care of yourself, making sure you eat well, make sure you race well, and also having a coach that knows you very well and having a coach that knows when I train you this way, it's going to make you a strong athlete and you're going to last. No, as opposed to some that maybe prefer maybe, you know, giving athletes so many workouts that eventually might lead to a burnout or early burnout. But for me, I've been really treating it as, you know, it's fun, it's a family event, a family sport, and what I have to do is just enjoy. And so that's what I've been doing, getting ready, I mean, taking care of yourself very well and having the goals that you make sure that whenever you wake up every morning, you need to make sure that at the end of the day, I want to do something with my career. I want to make sure that I train well, I hydrate, I rest, even if resting alone is something that you do for your, um, what I do all the time and that has helped me a lot. Are you thinking about running a marathon? Yes, I was actually talking to Map, and Map gave me this idea. He said, hey, you know, Bernard, you should run a marathon. I said, no, you're going to kill me. You guys are going to kill me. And he said, why can't you run me? Why can you run with me my last marathon? And I said, that's a good idea. But I'm not promising to finish a marathon because he's going to kill me, but I'm going to give him a company. And I think that's something. See, that is the motivation. And that is the stuff that might make me actually think twice about why can't I train so well so I can run with Map when he's trying to uh, run his last one would be fun to start with him and run with him as long as I can and then let him go because I think around that time he's going to start leaving me in dust. Yes. Well, Thank you very much guys. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah.